Test Your Baby Studios present. Hello children, welcome to this week's show, in which we'll look into the wonderful world of DNA. DNA, I hear some of you say, what's this all about? Well, it's simple really, kind of like the word itself, D-N-A. See, but let's get the tricky stuff out of the way first. DNA stands for Deoxyri... Ooh, um, deodori... Ooh, ribonuclei... Ew, well, whatever it stands for, it's a big word and has nothing to do with dinosaurs nicking apples. DNA is the building blocks of life, like Lego or Tetris. If you stack up these tiny little DNAs, you get all sorts of little creations, such as carrots, or dogs, and even humans. Did you know, for example, that we share 80% of our DNA with the common garden lettuce? There are so many different DNAs though, so listing them all would be stupid and, well, time consuming. Now, because of the wide variety of DNAs, it means that each one is uniquely different. Some are more erratic in their behaviour, some are more dim-witted and tend not to survive long, some contribute to the behaviour of some species, whilst others are just plain silly. DNA, therefore, is different from creature to creature. So, if you took the DNA from a dancing armadillo, a ginger person, an Eskimo, garden gnomes, Tom Cruise, a chicken, lemmings, and even your mother, you'd be surprised with the results. The Elvis gene is another strange one and has been around even before the king himself existed. In fact, every human being possesses part of this gene, except, of course, for Elvis himself, who contained 100% of the gene, making him pure Elvis. Before we end this week's show, let's go to our thought of the week. You never know, it could come up in the exam. If pro is the opposite to con, then is progress the opposite to Congress? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious DNA is tons of fun but nothing like mitosis Genetically modifying us, we all evolve DNA can help us with the problems we can't solve, hey! <laughs>